Hey, what's up, boys and girls? This is Taylor, and uh, today I'm going to be talking about sexism or feminism or gender equality or whatever the hell you want to talk about uh, in relation to the draft. And the draft is, if you're not uh, fortunate enough to be born in this wonderful country, the United States, um, you have to sign up when you turn 18 if you are a male in the United States so that uh, if the United States ever became involved in a huge war, they could call me up and I myself would have to be torn away from my family, my friends, my education, um, my career, whatever pursuits I may have in my life, and then be thrown uh, into a churning battlefield wherein I'm forced to fight and possibly die for a cause that I most likely don't believe in. And uh, just to establish this, I don't think that this is... Um, fair in any way to anyone. I don't care if you are a man or a woman or Asian or black or white. It doesn't matter. Like, it's not okay to send people um, off to war like this and call them up and tear them away from everything that they know and love so that they can fight um, on behalf of those who are so wealthy that they're not going to be forced to take part in the wars that they are the primary beneficiary. Um, so yeah, that's the way I feel about it. But as with all of these things with kind of sexism, and the reason I'm talking about sex is because, as I said, um, women are not uh, forced to sign up for the draft, is that it seems as though any time, as a man, I critique feminism, there's always just a few people, or at least a small contingent of people who send me messages who, the basic premise is, you're a man and you don't get it. Like, you don't get sexism and feminism because you're a man and you are raised in this uh, patriarchal society where you are just given the benefit of every doubt and so you really can't even understand it. It's almost like um, me trying to... Exp- I had a... I had a- feminist uh, message me. I'm not going to give out any usernames because I'm not a complete cockbag, but I had someone message me saying that me talking about feminism and how it's wrong is like her uh, teaching me like masturbation styles. Like it, She was saying it almost as though I can't possibly comprehend the issues because I'm not a woman, therefore I should just keep my mouth out of it. And I think that's pretty much bullshit. I think that if you're going to play this game of uh, feminists and masculinist. Is that a thing? I don't know. I wouldn't say. I think that's pretty retarded if that is a thing. But uh, I think that everyone should be able to say their piece, and if you truly are for gender equality, then you should listen to me just um, as intensively and just as politely as you would listen to a woman. And I feel like that's the case um, with a lot of these feminist videos. It's really difficult to find a video about feminism that bashes feminism where a male is talking about it uh, that gets super popular and gets a lot of support. I know there are some out there, but for the most part, the only times that feminist videos get really popular are when a woman creates it, which is kind of a, um, a tacit admission that you kind of, quote, have to be a woman in order to critique feminism, which I think is bullshit. Um, really, if you are a feminist, or you hold yourself to be one, and you do not believe that women should have to sign up for the draft, uh, I would like you to tell me why. Just leave a comment, feel free to send me a message, I can't guarantee that I'll read all of them, but tell me why. Because it seems to me that only someone who is exhibiting the highest level of cognitive dissonance and hypocrisy could possibly say that they are fighting for gender equality, meanwhile completely ignore issues um, like the fact that men are given much higher prison sentences for the same crimes in addition to the fact that women are not called up for the draft. It's just, I, I know that this is not Vietnam and it's not a huge deal for the draft right now, but if we ever did get drafted, I think that it's only fair that women have to sign up for the draft too. And the arguments that I've heard against this point are generally, um, oh, uh, men are supposed to protect women, or oh, men are, are the strong ones who are not supposed to be out there fighting. Uh, you don't want women out there fighting they're too weak and stuff like that and it ironically enough a lot of the time you hear these same women saying this who say that men objectify women and I to them I say make up your goddamn mind do you want to be objectified and treasured and kept back at home and safe during this wartime do you want men to treat you like they like like you are intrinsically more valuable to them like you are a more valuable form of life who cannot be possibly risked in this dangerous fray this dangerous war zone it's complete selfishness is what it is. It's saying, hey, I don't want you to look at me like I'm a beautiful person and lust after me as desirable intrinsically. I would rather, you know, go off to war. Like, that doesn't make sense. No, if I were given an option between being a man who is objectified by being thrown out into a war zone and used as a tool to achieve a goal that I wasn't ever going to see the benefits of, or to be um, objectified as a woman who's kept home, who's kept on the home front and protected away from this battle, I would much rather be the person who's objectified in the way that protects me. And this is something that a lot of feminists don't seem to realize, is that women are taught their entire lives, or at least 
uh, passively taught that they are intrinsically valuable. They're valuable uh, because of who they are, because they're women, because they're capable of propagating the species, because they're seen as beautiful, as, as not objects, I mean, I don't want to say that, but I'm trying to get this point across, as people to be admired, to be seen as, wow, what a beautiful, gorgeous woman. That's why you see women in society who are emulated, someone like Kim Kardashian, whose intellectual just ineptitude defies explanation, but she's gorgeous. She's a beautiful human being, and she is seen as valuable just for the way she looks. Men are not like this. Men have to make something for themselves. Men do not feel intrinsically valuable because for a man, you have to do something to earn this value. You can't just be, in most situations, a good-looking guy and coast by on your looks. You just can't do that. And if you do do that, unlike a woman who would do the same thing, you would be seen as just a worthless drain on society. A man who wasn't contributing anything aside from just being a, a vain womanizer, whatever the hell you want to say. But I suppose that's what irritates me so much, is because all of these feminist videos complain about this patriarchy, but where are the benefits of this patriarchy for us males? What are we seeing as benefits of this? I think that what feminists are misconstruing as the, quote, patriarchy is really just a small contingent of what happened to be males, more of an oligarchy. And this oligarchy doesn't just objectify women, it objectifies men, too, in a much worse way. At least, if, uh... Th these complaints that you hear a lot of feminists talking about for objectification is like, oh, we're not pieces of meat for you to oogle at. Well, how about if I, if I was a man and I said, hey, how, about ob objectifying men, we're not just pieces of meat that you can throw out and try and achieve and win wars with. It's, it's not fair. It really isn't. And that's what gets, I guess, gets my goat. I finally got an opportunity to use that phrase. Yes! But uh, that's what gets my goat. Are these videos um, where feminists are complaining about the most menial, ridiculous stupid things like men um, staring at them or something like that and completely ignoring these huge gaping issues of gender equality where only men have to sign up to go die in the draft or only men are the ones dying just in huge numbers in the workplace. Um, it, it's silly and it's hypocritical and if you are a feminist and or you were a feminist maybe I've managed to change a few minds and uh, you feel that this is justified I'm more than happy to talk about it and uh, have a discussion with you in the comment section because the first step to any enlightenment conversation is the willingness to admit that you're wrong and uh, just as I'm willing to admit that I'm wrong if someone comes out there and slaps me in the face with a new brand of logic um, I would ask that you feminists out there who maybe haven't considered these issues on this from the side of uh, males to maybe you know give it some thought maybe think about it and think about how this world isn't just a world where men just objectify women at every uh, turn you know guys get objectified too and it sucks and usually when men get objectified uh, it's more likely to end in death than sex. So there you go. Um, this is in no way a justification for any sexism for either party or sex, whatever the hell you want to say. I'm just throwing stuff out there. I hope you guys found this interesting. Uh, please leave a comment. I'm interested to... Please leave a comment. I am interested to hear what you have to say. And, uh, yeah. But, basically, bottom line is, if you are a feminist and you do not think that women should be called up for the draft, then I think you're a hypocrite. There you go.